When you first open S3, this is the screen you will see. This dark line represents this blank size. These gray, lighter lines represent the grid size. You'll see your toolbars here, your smart bar, and your menu. So the first thing we're going to do is set up a new blank size. The default size is 3.94 by 3.94, and we're going to change this to an 8.5 by 11. In order to do that, we're going to go to Layout, Blank Size. Here you can see the default. A couple different options here, Portrait, Landscape. You can choose something in here, or if you go back to custom, you can type in your own numbers. Sometimes I like to make it just slightly smaller than my output page, just to make sure I don't go all the way to the edge. But we'll just create one that's a letter size for the most common size paper that I print. You're also able to add in your own kind of custom sizes. If there's something you find yourself using a lot, you can add it over here to a list and then you'll just be able to click it really fast. Um, and that's under the advanced tab. And so we'll go portrait, letter, and click OK. So now you can see our blank size changed to an 8.5 by 11. Something else to do when you're setting up is go to options. And under general preferences, here's where you're able to change your units. So if you want to go to millimeters or inches. And write the default for the grid size is an inch. So you can easily measure off your artwork that way. If you'd like to change that, you can change it to half inch, two inches, whatever you like right here. And then when you hit control D, you automatically duplicate an item and this setting right here determines if you want to duplicate it exactly on top of each other you would change this to zero zero or as the default is to duplicate items one inch to the right and one inch to the bottom. Another thing when you're doing your setup is to create a custom icon bar so in order to that, you can just get up here and right click and hit customize. And here you can see the standard toolbars are your operation, system, tools, workspace. Any of those are customizable. So you can add icons over here directly to these toolbars or you can create your own. I created a sand carving tools one. In order to do that, you would just hit new, type in your name and I created sand carving tools, so I'm just going to show you the most common ones I use when using this program for sand carving. So I just added print, import, blank size, group, ungroup, zoom to sign blank, pan state, duplicate, array, invert graphic. So those are the most common ones I use, so I created my own custom toolbar under sand carving tools. Here's also where you can change your icons. The default is going to be grayscale, but you can change to use color icons. And you can also change the size of your icons right here. I find medium to be good size. So once I hit close, that'll apply. So now you can see my icons are in color. And here's my custom toolbar that I just created. And these are all movable, dockable, wherever you want to put them. If you'd rather have them out here, up here, basically however you want this to look. This bar is going to, is called your smart toolbar. And that is going to always stay there and it will change depending on which tool you have selected. So depending on your tool, this smart bar up here will change its uh, tool settings.
that pretty much covers what you need to do when you first get this installed and setting, get it set up for yourself.